there's a love of God and there's also love for God because Peter replies back he says yes Lord I love you Jesus asked him this question three times and in our English Bible or Russian Bible or Spanish Bible it uses only one word it uses word love when Jesus says do you love me in original language it doesn't say that it says do you agape me means do you unconditionally love me and you know what Peter replies back he says Jesus I feel you you means I love you like a friend I don't love you unconditionally Jesus asked him a question again he says Peter do you agape me do you love me unconditionally and Peter replies back again he says I feel you you means I I don't love you like that Jesus I only love you like a friend and Jesus asked him a question third time but now he switches the word and he says do you feel you me he comes down to his level and he says I know you can't love me here but do you still at least love me here and Jesus Peter says Jesus you know all things and you know that I feel you 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 know that I don't have this love like a parent for a child for you I don't have this unconditional love for you but I have this third level of love like like a friend and and that's all I have because see about 10 days ago Jesus when you asked me that everybody will betray you I said that I will never betray you I am on here but I recognize Jesus my love for you is not here my love for you is here and that's all I have and that's all I'm gonna give you the interesting part is that Jesus accepted the love Peter had to offer to him and Jesus took that love and he multiplied that love because in the book of Peter when Peter writes an epistle eight times he mentions word love and you know the kind of love Peter writes about not filio not storge not eros he's writing about agape love I'm going to give you a little secret of how to increase your love for God give him the love you have and God will give you the love you don't give God the love you currently have and God will multiply that love and give you the love you wish to have many people only give God the love they wish to have instead of giving what you have if you can come and pray three times a week you come and pray three times a week you may say well I want to pray every single day two hours a day that's not how this works you give God what you have God will receive that it's not enough he knows that but Jesus has this powerful thing in his hands when you give him what you have instead of keeping it back he will take what you have and he will multiply it and give it the love that you dream of having for God same thing when it comes to your reading of the Bible maybe you recognize that you fall asleep reading the Bible and you say well I could just read half a chapter give God the love you have and he will take it multiply it and give you the love you wish to have same thing when it comes to fasting you may say man I wish to fast I wish so I could have a discipline stop wishing give the Lord what you have you say Lord I can miss a breakfast once a week that's all I have I don't have capacity for anything else if you do that Jesus will receive that feel your love and then he will multiply it and touch it God can't change the love you don't give God can't increase the love you keep the love you only pray for without surrendering and giving it to God 